This is my mega jumbo straw. We put it in. <gasps> okay, so I understand the concept of making straws out of paper, but man, I hate paper straws. Plastic consumption is one of the world's leading problems. Ever since 1907, when the chemist Leo Bakelin first invented it, it has been used to create literally everything from toys to packaging, tools, entertainment, to bags, to reusable bags. Plastic is everywhere, but the most useless need for plastic is for the use of a straw. During the 1960s, when man said, I am too lazy to even hold my drink, the plastic straw was invented. This made it possible for one to take a sip out of the drink by sucking it out of a plastic tube. However, as the awareness of pollution increased, plastic was one of the first to go. In a forward-thinking path, businesses started creating recyclable and sustainable products as a way for consumers to take the better option. This movement was not only one of man's greatest steps forward in recent history, but will teach future generations to come about the protection of our environment. Now isn't that lovely? The plastic straw industry is quite the lucrative one. Americans alone are estimated to use 500 million straws every day creating an aftermath of coastline pollution and dying turtles, so there's no question why this had to change. The first trendy alternative was reusable straws. This sounds very resourceful. Instead of using a brand new straw every time to have your nice drink, you can bring your own bamboo, silicone, glass, or metal straw with you, so waste isn't even an issue. Hey yo, hey yo, what are you doing bro? That's a metal straw, you can't be throwing that away. Reusable straws seem like the best solution to a problem, but what I think most people forgot is that plastic straws were made for our convenience. Reusable straws, on the other hand, might be the complete opposite. You need to bring it everywhere you go. You need to clean it after every use. You most likely will have to buy multiple, and if one were to get damaged or it's too old, it will need to be trashed anyways. Poor frog must have been enjoying his smoothie and fell. Back in 2018, these were very popular, but as time went on, these two have been lost to their difficulties and dangers. When the realization that people have opted to go back to plastic straws, the government stepped in by mandating paper straws in many states. The benefits are obvious. The straws were made out of paper, meaning they were biodegradable. Recently more than ever, paper straws have been sprawling out in most restaurants and stores. I'm sure you've noticed it by now that when you go into a restaurant and get a drink, you'll most likely not be given a straw. In fact, you must ask for a straw, and when it comes out, you will most likely be handed a paper straw. Now this is probably the most effective and simplest solution to this problem, because some people like me don't need a straw while drinking, so as an effect, it saves that straw from even being used. And many fast food restaurants that tend to not hand you a straw, there will be paper straws on a counter for you to take. Did you hear that sound? It is time for a quick history lesson. I bet you didn't know that the paper straw was invented in 1888, saying that makes sense because of the simplicity of the product. However, to go from paper in 1888 to plastic in the 60s and then back to paper in the 2000s, man that shit makes no sense. There was a reason that inventors made the plastic straw in the first place, and that is because it's more durable than paper. One of the most known weaknesses of paper is its ability to soak up liquids, so why the fuck would you make it into a straw? You would think that after more than a hundred years, and the rapid use by the people, a straws would be the most advanced thing by now, but instead, we are going backwards. Bro, paper straws suck, I'm not using it anymore. But you might be saying, hey, at least it's helping the environment though. Ma'am. Fuck the environment. If I'm using a straw, I want that shit to last. I don't want to drink a quarter of my drink and then start chewing on some fucking gum, bro. I believe that either the design or the materials of the straws should have been chosen more carefully in order to make it much more favorable to the wider audience. And this is why I said it was too early for these to be brought to the world. There are obviously cons to bringing them out too late as well, but right now it seems like they issued these things out without really testing it to see if it actually works as a straw, which I'm pretty sure was its intended purpose. So I got you guys. I have the perfect idea for this weak straw solution. Now, hear me out here. In order to make the paper straws actually work, is if we wrap a layer of plastic around the paper so when the paper dissolves, we can still use it as a straw. Now, there are countless articles on the cons of paper straws, such as the greenhouse gases emitted from the production of paper straws being very similar to plastic straws. But I'm gonna side with the pros, saying that it's a way better alternative to plastic because I have the morals of a middle schooler. But honestly, this argument is pointless. Regardless of pros or cons, paper straws still suck ass as a straw. For shakes, slushies, and boba, I uh, guess I understand the necessity for a straw. But for everything else, the best solution is to just actually not use a fucking straw, bro. Like, why do you need a straw to drink water? I'm done.